Hello, folks. How you doing? All right. Good to be with you. Uh, we we often hear of uh, words of wisdom. You know, people. You know, people want words of wisdom, right? I don't blame them. You know, yeah. I like words of wisdom too. You know. Uh, but wait a minute. There's something that don't meet the eye when it comes to words of wisdom. Well, we'll get into that, okay? Now, a person will say that uh, he wants to receive a word of wisdom, or he looks out for words of wisdom, oh, which is good, you know what I mean? But wait a minute. If a person hears the word of wisdom, is he going to recognize it as such? Is he going to recognize the word of wisdom? You know what I mean? But then, we hear words of wisdom, but we don't know it. We don't act on it. Okay? Yeah, we hear words of wisdom all the time. But here's a word of wisdom, okay? that we've probably all heard. We've heard about it. We've heard it. Captain of your ship, master of your soul. That's a word of wisdom. We've all heard that saying before, okay? But we didn't pay too much attention to it. Maybe we felt that, well, that's out of our league. Something that we cannot attain to. You know what I mean? But we can, you see. But a word of wisdom, if it indeed is recognized by someone as a word of wisdom, and they say, well, I got this word of wisdom. What am I going to do with it? Am I going to get some money out of it? <laughs> or tell me how to make some money? You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I'm not looking at it from that angle, though. You know what I mean? It'd probably be, it's probably just the opposite of what we're talking about, what I'm talking about anyway, you know? Uh, making money, you know? Nothing wrong with that, yeah. Nothing wrong with making money. But anyway... Let's say that um, the person receives the, the word of wisdom and recognizes it as such. What is he going to do with it? What is he going to do with it? Okay. If a person receives a word of wisdom and he decides to apply it to his life, It's going to require a change in lifestyle. Uh, the word of wisdom, then, when recognized by a person and accepted as such, is evidently something that the person hasn't been doing in his life. Uh, this word of wisdom, and well, yeah, it's a word. Of, it's something probably new to him. So the word of wisdom is going to require a change. You're going to have to live in accordance with the word of wisdom. Something that you haven't been doing because if you had been doing it, you would be wise. You would have been putting the word of wisdom to use. But you haven't been doing that. So it requires change. A change that people, most people, billions of us, are unwilling to make. Okay? captain of your ship and master of your soul. It's telling us that we must be a, a, a master of our souls. We must be in control of our souls. We must be of such a mind that we command the soul to do as we wish. Then you're master of your soul, right? If you're not commanding your soul, to do as you wish, 
then maybe it is commanding you. That's just the opposite of being master of your soul. So let's say, well, a person has to change his lifestyle. Very, very difficult. People have been taught, indirectly or directly, that they should satisfy their passion. Go by your gut feeling. Satisfy your passion. Satisfy your emotion. This is what people are taught, and this is what people seek to do. But wait a minute. The passions and emotions and the soul are the same. So, so people not, you know, they are given control of their lives to their soul. But that's not mastering the soul. It's giving the mastership to the soul. That's what that's doing. So how are you going to change that? You've got a word of wisdom now. How are you going to use it? Are you going to do the change of lifestyle? Unlikely. You've been taught. You have been raised to have fun. Satisfy your passions. Satisfy your desires. You see what I mean? Satisfying your desires, satisfying your passions, satisfying your soul, okay? Having fun, enjoying yourself, living life to the fullest. That's what you're doing. That's why when a person asks a word of wisdom, yeah, well, wait a minute, I'm going to get some money out of this. <laughs> he wants to satisfy his passions, his desires. You know what I mean? Well, the, the passions and the soul demand to be satisfied. This is what they want. Okay. And so the person does their bidding. He sets out to satisfy them. But wait a minute. He sets out to satisfy them. So the person says, well, you know, I use my intelligence. He says, I use logic and reasoning to get the things that I desire. This means, okay, that the person's soul, his passions, have taken over him and convinces him to use his logic, his reasoning powers, to satisfy them, the passions. You see, <laughs> see how it works? You see? But the thing is, is that we give in to our passions. We give them power over us when we should be their master, remember? Master of the soul. That is, master of the passions. But we give passions the control. We, d we default, you see, when we should be in control of our soul. The human should be able to command his soul, but he needs power to do that. He needs know-how. He needs to learn how to become master of his soul. That requires, like I say, changing lifestyle, changing previous behavior. which was to enjoy yourself, satisfy your passions. you got to change that. If you're going to master the passions, if you're going to master your soul, you got to change all that stuff. This gets us into the personality. Yeah, a person's got to change his personality because that's setting out to satisfy the passions and, you know, and 
party to the fullest and all that stuff involves the personality. It's our personality we got to change. That's not easy. So when a person gets a word of wisdom, what he's got to do is act on it. He's got to make changes in himself. You see, because the word of wisdom is always, always the word of wisdom is saying that, look, the person who receives me, hence the word of wisdom, has got to make a personality change. He got to change his lifestyle. That's personality. And people aren't willing to do that. So then the word of wisdom that is telling the person to master his soul is going to work for most people. Very few. People aren't willing to change. Not that change. I, this difficult. You know what I mean? Uh, to overcome desire. It's probably the most difficult thing people can do. I mean, this means uh, <laughs> this means to gain power over these desires, gain power over these passions, like sexual passion. Also, that's a passion, sexual passion. You you got to you gonna give that up? <laughs> you, it, this is this is what it's about, folks. This is what words of wisdom are about making this change in order to gain control of your soul, hence mastery of the soul. You see what I mean? Who's willing to do that? When we've been taught all our lives to go by your gut feeling, you know what I mean? That is... The gut feeling, we're talking about passions and emotions. Let's go by that, you know. Passions take control of our intelligence. You now, people say uh, intelligence and logic is great. It is. It is great. But it's got to be based on knowledge. Your passions and so forth, takes control of your intelligence. It takes control of your sense of logic. That's how great and powerful the passions are. You see what I mean? But the, the word of wisdom tells me, well, we got to overcome that. <laughs> that's what the word of wisdom, that's what wisdom is about. The wisdom, wisdom is about a person being in control of his soul, about being master of his soul and captain of the ship, the body. Being captain of the body. You get to heaven through your physiology. Human physiology is to do away to heaven. And we have to talk about that, how it's done, you know what I mean? Uh, religious scriptures, whatever religion you belong to, religious scriptures tell you to be the captain of your ship and the master of your soul. But, like I say, it demands that a person gives up so much, his personality, his lifestyle, all his fun and all that, so much that the person just, the, the average person can't do it. This has nothing to do with going to hell uh, if you don't do it. There's no hell waiting for you. There's no hell waiting for you, no brimstone and fire, not after you're dead. You might go through a little hell in this life, difficulties in this life, trying to satisfy your passions. Okay, folks. Good talking to you, and I'll be back with you again sometime. Remember the word of wisdom. you got to work with it. Make it work for you. Okay, folks, have a good one, and bye.